Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is what their friends think of you. In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different image, number, and stone. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so what do their friends think of you? Okay, so the first thing that comes across is that you guys come across as being mysterious. So their friends think that they can't quite get a read on you, so they're not sure exactly what you feel for their friend, okay? So you've got them wondering. The next way that they see you is you come across like you are living your best life, okay? So you walk into the room and it's like you're so full of life and you just own who you are. You know, you make any moment feel fun. You're just vivacious and like I said, like so full of life that you just come across like you are living your best life. The next thing that came through is you guys have this next thing that the friends notice about you is you have beautiful or handsome eyes okay and you have this model like stare and look to you okay so you're very captivating you know you you're attractive and they just feel like wow you know like, looks wise they're like wow our friend did good you know the friends also see you guys as being passionate people and that goes right along with living your best life so they're like all right and you know and you ignited that passionate flame within their friend as well. So now they're seeing like a side of them that maybe they haven't seen in some time, you know? All right, so we have two signs that came through, Scorpio and Cancer. So you and the person on your mind could be a Scorpio or a Cancer, but really this is how the friends see you guys. And what I'm getting in particular with these two combinations is again, you have this like exotic, sultry look to you, okay? That the friends find to be mysterious and attractive. But you also have a warm side to you that's very like nurturing and like wanting everybody to get along, okay? So you're all about harmony and balance and making sure everybody's having a good time. We have a distance card, so a few different things come to me about that. But for some of you, you could actually live at a distance from the person on your mind, which is their friend. For others of you, they feel like there's some kind of a distance between you and their friend, okay, the person on your mind. So, you know, they could think you have a wall up and that can also go back to you coming across as being mysterious and them not quite getting a read on you. Not knowing like, you know, is your guard down? Okay, so the friends think you guys come across as being such a catch, looks, personality, vibe, and energy wise. But they're like, they wonder, just because the player card came out doesn't mean they automatically think you're a player. But what this means is they feel like, wow, like, the main thing that's coming across is they wonder how interested in their friend are you? You know, like you appear like you could get anyone, you could drop anyone, you know, with the drop of a hat and they just wonder. Okay, we even have your temptation and this is part of the player card. So the friends think you are definitely someone they would date. Okay, and I'm not saying just because it says you're a temptation that anyone would attempt to, but they definitely see you as somebody they would have been interested in if the friend and you didn't have something going on. Some of you are dating this person and some of you are not, but either way, okay. We have like crab cards, so they definitely see you guys as being feisty people. Feisty, playful, but feisty also like you are the type that would, you know, put someone in their place if it came to it. You know, you can be blunt and you're a confident person who can speak their mind. So that's what that represents. There is a part of the friends that wonder if you and their friend might be too different. But either way, they're like, that's their choice. So some of you could be going through a rough time with this person and the friends think, you know, regardless of what you two are going through, don't give up on this connection. Okay. So overall, I see that they do support this connection. 
And you guys, they see you like a lighthouse, so there's just something about you that shines. And in particular, you know, when their friend's going through a rough time, it's like you are that bright light for them. And honestly, I see the friends being inspired by you just by the way that you are and whatever it is that you do. Going back to the passionate self, okay, if the friends are friends with you on social media, you could be posting things, you doing things that not a lot of people do. I get a very unconventional path coming through here. But either way, it's you posting yourself and your passionate, your passionate self. Again, it could be you having a great time and just showcasing that and it just, comes across as being inspiring, okay? You're really good at highlighting amazing moments. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments, and if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime you can email me your questions. Also, if you would like discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so what do their friends think of you? All right, so we have two cards coming out right away, Pisces and Libra. So you and the person on your mind could be at Pisces or a Libra. But what I'm getting even more than that is this is how the friends see you guys. So I'm getting a definite mixture. On one hand, you guys come across as this creative artist. You might even have a bit of an indie scene type of style to you. And on the other hand, I'm getting somebody who is definitely classy, okay? And I get the impression that this person on your mind wants to take you out and show you off basically and the friends get it you know they take one look at you and you're like yeah you know that makes sense like they think you're attractive you're a fun person to be around you're definitely upbeat in fact we have my jellyfish card here so what comes to me about that is you guys have a very sweet demeanor but at the same time you're also really attractive so it's like you're this innocent baddie is what i call it you know you have this amazing blend and on top of that you also are charming and witty and just playful and so the friends get it okay they're like the person on your mind is definitely magnetically drawn to you and the friends are like we get it okay my star card also came through for you guys so just you being you and showing up in life fully it makes you come across like a star okay you're just doing your thing being who you are you shine like a star and honestly whether or not like like the friends are inspired by you so keep being you keep doing your thing especially if you're friends with them on social media they see that some of you could be in the spotlight people are wowed by that as well but either way this could represent you and them being friends on social media or they've seen your social media or just you showing up fully in life so we also have my shock card so there is something about you where people might think they start to you know have you figured out and or can get a read on you they think they know what you're about or how into the friend you are then all of a sudden you say or do something that's like out of character or it's just like spontaneous it leaves everyone like whoa okay you know just when they thought they knew you you switch things up okay you keep things interesting but all the while you're still being you all right so we've got my whale card here. So the friends see you as being somebody who is not only attractive, but good, yeah, and good looking. Also intelligent, and even more than intelligent, you're also wise, okay? Wise and intuitive. So they realize, anybody who talks to you realizes real quick that you're a deep person. You're not afraid to go deep. So we have a very, on one hand, you can be very lighthearted, playful, carefree, flirty, fun, but then you can also go deep. Okay, so the friends see you guys as somebody that is always bettering themselves and bettering their life and they're like, you're amazing for their friend. That's what they think. They think that now your friend is being the best version of himself, wanting to elevate their life. So you came in the picture and it was like spring, like, you know, you just brought this energy of everything feeling fresh with possibility. 
Okay, so you guys, like, with that carefree, happy-go-lucky energy, you come across as being the life of the party. Whether you and the friends have actually partied together or not, it doesn't matter. It's an expression that describes you guys. They also see you as being somebody who is unapologetically themselves, okay? Overall, you guys are really good at rolling with whatever life throws at you. Bounce back quick, you know? And all in all, the friends, they think you're awesome for their friend and they like hanging out with you. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions. That information is right here. Also, if you would like a discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number three. Okay, so what do the friends think of you? Okay, so instantly what I'm seeing is the friends see you guys as being somebody who's very chill and laid back. Okay, somebody who just kind of rolls with whatever is going on and is like down for whatever, whatever latest adventure and idea that people have. But at the same time that you come back, come across as being laid back, we also have my back and forth vibes. So there is a part of the friends that aren't totally sure how you feel about their friend. Okay, so you keep them wondering and guessing. There is also something that comes across about you and their friend as being opposites, okay? Or you two come from two totally different worlds and the friends wonder like, is that gonna be a factor or not, you know? So I just get this feeling of them like on the edge of their seat, kind of waiting to see what happens between you guys. Okay, but we also have my love here with the pizza. So that tells me that their friend is like, smitten by you okay they're like all about you they're crushing on you they it's coming across that the friend is into you and they hope you're just as into them in fact we have a bit of what the person on your mind thinks of you as well okay so we got my dreams card as well as you are a dream come true so you and this person on your mind could be dreaming about each other okay <laughs> the friend might have told their friends about you know any dream they've had about you something like that is coming through since it's coming through in the friend reading and the other thing is literally they could be talking about you like hey you know you are a dream come true to them so and if you two aren't in a relationship yet that's where the friend wants to take it okay and they could have told their friends about this it's interesting because it's supposed to be what the friends think but it's really your guys's pile is turning into what they tell their friends so that's an interesting twist but anyway it could be too like the friends think like how are you two not in a relationship you know they think well, yeah you guys would be an amazing match but there's also something coming through here with my ghost card that you know you guys might have like either i want to say ghosted but yeah you might have ghosted this person or it took like a long time to get back to them in between messages something like that so yeah you know you just got the friends wondering like they're speculating like they really wonder like how into this connection are you the other thing that's coming through is there's just something about you and their friend that both of you come across like you, you know, strive to be the best version of yourself. You strive to make the most out of your life. And they think you both are really going places. Like you're both very goal driven. So they think, you know, again, like it's coming through. Like they think you two would be a great match. They're just not sure how in this you are. But they do feel like, you know, you've awakened something in their friend where they feel like anything is possible. So, and the friend wants to see like, where would this go? There's also something coming across with you guys as being a bit of a free spirit, okay? And I'm still getting that they think like you guys you might not text or message them for a while and then all of a sudden you will and it's like you'll pick up like nothing was going on and I just see it's possible that the friend complained to their friend because they might be like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if this person's really that interested, you know? 
All in all though, it's really coming across though that you guys are laid back people who are definitely busy, you're juggling a lot, you are working on yourself and your path, you know, really striving to go where you wanna go. Some of you are really into travel. It's just coming across that you came into the friend's life and it was like a dream come true to them. And you know, the friends think, even though you guys might be opposite in some way, they really think though, if this is what you two wanted, like it could really go the distance, you know? They just wonder how in this are you? Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions. That information is right here. Also, if you would like a discount on my personal readings and exclusive content on the connection with the person on your mind, feel free to join my Patreon. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys.